It's now time to bring you up to date with what's happening in the world of business. Treasurers and currency dealers say the current marginal stability of uh, the city should be maintained strongly in coming weeks. This is based on what they describe as improved dollar supply from the Bank of Ghana and some other regulatory interventions. They also believe that the recent 10-year bond sale should also improve the situation. Now, there were fears that with the recent hikes and the U.S. Federal Reserve rates, the local currency uh, could come under pressure again. Speaking to Joy Business after swearing in new executives of the Association of Financial Market Operators, new president Kofi Asari Apienim, based on some new measures, uh, said the outlook is surely good. In terms of the depreciation, I believe that things are a little bit more stable now. Ghana's fundamentals are right. We have not even hit our cocoa season, and yet, what do you call it, and yet our reserves are five months import cover. One of the main challenges I believe people were looking at was probably maybe the MTN IPO. Right? And the fact that if they're looking for USD, maybe people would buy dollars and therefore the currency would run. We have adequate reserves. And the central bank is coming up with structures to ensure that the, the movement is seamless. If the central bank doesn't, our job as financial market operators is to create structures. You can invest in forwards. You can invest in swaps. You can invest in options. There are so many different hedging tools you can use to smoothen an FX curve. You don't, just because there are no dollars today does not mean that you will not have dollars in September. And therefore, you cannot buy dollars forward and just have a, a smoother FX curve. So this volatility, I believe it is temp, uh, temporary. I believe that it will be muted. And therefore, I believe that it's, it's, a, it's a good thing if you're an exporter. At least you make some profit, and when we stabilize, you can put it back into the economy by taxes. So uh, depreciation is not always a bad thing, but of course, it creates a lot of uncertainty in our pockets because we are an import-driven economy. So even a toothpick, you have to import. Petrol is imported. So if the currency loses 20%, what's going to happen? The man carrying yam from Tamale to Accra is going to add that difference to his yam, which is going to affect my ability, and I'm also going to go to work and ask for a higher salary. So so it does not help us as an economy if our currency is not stable. But in terms of our opportunity for growth, it is actually to the sky. And so I am not worried about Ghana. This is temporary. And I'm happy to be a Ghanaian working in this association at a time where I can actually make an impact and make a difference as far as market concerns. The Securities and Exchange Commission says it will soon come up with a framework for corporate organizations to enable them to give a fair representation of women at the board level of organizations. This follows a report by the International Finance Corporation, IFC, and the University of Ghana Business School indicating that one in every four board members in Ghana is a woman. There's more in this report. Gender equity in Ghana's corporate environment has persistently been a challenge and for which so much lip service has been paid to. Some industry players in the corporate setting have reacted to a joint report by the University of Ghana Business School and the International Finance Corporation, IFC, which showed that only 25% of women are on boards in Ghana. This very report has issued specific recommendations, top of which has been the need for there to be specific guidelines as well as policy implementation to ensure equity in our various boardrooms here in Ghana. We get to speak to some of the stakeholders of this report as well on the issues raised and the concerns raised as we explore the various angles, solutions based on gender equity in our Ghanaian economic sector. Reacting to this report, Director General of the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, Reverend Ogba Amiteta, says it's high time the capital market regulator implements some rules which will ensure a balanced representation of women on boards of all business firms in the country. We as the SEC, we have already issued draft guidelines to the listed companies on corporate governance because we want them to embrace uh, you know, best practices where corporate governance is concerned. I think because we haven't finalized it, this idea of gender diversity can also feature in the provisions in it. And I, I want to believe that it will be well received. And then once it's finalized and issued uh, as regulations, then it means that we expect compliance from the various market operators. But I think it's good for the discussion uh, to be ongoing and for people to realize that gender diversity uh, will be a plus. Meanwhile, former CEO of the Chamber of Mines, Dr. Joyce I, is confident the Ghana Beyond Aid agenda will only be achieved if the private sector is able to bridge the gender gap in the corporate world. Dr. Joyce I cautioned that the country risks losing a chunk of skilled human resource 
space should the gender gap in the corporate world continue to widen. It is, it is a shared responsibility. It is something that the whole nation has to embrace and work with, you know. What I like about the report is that it makes economic sense. Because a lot of times, people are saying, why should we do it when uh, productivity is not going to increase, when people are not going to do well, and so on. But now it makes economic sense. It is found, it was found in the report that uh, boards on which women sat showed much more productivity than, than, than not, you know. So it's important for us to see this. Among recommendations made, the report calls for policymakers and regulators to develop policies that encourage young women to serve on various boards. You're watching Joy News today. We'll be back with more. Do stay.